lightweight tilt between Bobby Green and Dustin Poirier. Well, he's got a key to the city of Lafayette, Louisiana, but with the present company, Daniel Cormier here, I'm not sure I'm gonna go so far as to call him the king of Lafayette, but Dustin Poirier, has become a UFC champion, and he remains one of the best lightweights in the world. If he's not the king of Lafayette, he's one of the kings of the UFC's lightweight division. A phenomenal striker, has such great boxing, big, strong, long arms, and an ability to fight through so much adversity to try and accomplish his goal. He's one of the most exciting fighters in the lightweight division, but also has the ability to knock you out and just outgrind you over 25 minutes. And at times competing as a featherweight, he was almost a victim of his own success. He did so well that he stayed down there. Of course, since moving up to 155 pounds, he has put his best foot forward, and he draws yet another elite lightweight in this spot tonight. All right, here he is for my money, Mike, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Two years apart, these two fighters, and they both possess a similar height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a boxer holding a professional record of 28 wins, seven losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, Dustin the Diamond Paul. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 28 wins, 12 losses, and one draw. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Fontana, California, Bobby King Green. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited we are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big-time athletes? Poirier does a better job when he's the guy going forward. Body kick now by Poirier. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Flocks the shot. Nice job by Dustin Poirier there. Sticks the target and then moves his head off the center line to avoid the, the comeback shot. Head off the center line and watch him the counter with that beautiful straight left that he throws over and over. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, uppercut to the head, DC. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. His opponent was doing a great job of... Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Knee to the body. Green gets caught with that punch. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh. Head off the center line, slips the punch. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Hey, you got the shot. 
strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Just misses with the right. And they separate. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Dustin the Diamond Poirier. Effective strike there by Poirier. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, elbow to the head there by Poirier. Nice slip to avoid the left. How about that shin? Poirier's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Oh! Now goes in and secures the takedown. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangle. Five minutes in the book. All right, that's the end of five minutes. That's the end of the round. You see the cut on his lip, and that thing is only getting worse. Pretty nasty gash at this point in time. You know he's going to need some sutures after the fact. The focus right now, though, keeping his head in the game. Don't think about the cut. You got to think about getting your offense going and shoring up that defense to prevent that cut from getting any worse. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. Let's go fight. What a phenomenal round. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Poirier. Oh, slips. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Just misses with the punch by Green. And he landed the right hand there. So a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Poirier. Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swing and a miss by Green. Just over three minutes to go. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Well, he's able to get back up here, but oh man, is he on wobbly legs. Just out of range with that right hand. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. He's got a slow. Goes for the clinch here. Looks like he's trying to recover. He was stunned a little bit earlier. Let's see if he can get a respite here. Right hand punch from the clinch. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. stoppage and a great performance by this young man. Well, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched gloves. I mean, a competitive fight 
that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. The official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta calls a stop to this contest at four minutes, 21 seconds of round number two. You're playing the winner by knockout, Bobby King Reed. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great